Hello, and welcome to this Untamed Screencast tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make a responsive home page using Twitter Bootstrap. So first, what I've done is I've included some of the code already available within our head of the document. And this all is pretty standard. We have our standard document type, our doc type of HTML that um, renders HTML5 um, to the browser. Then we have our title, and this could of course be anything that you needed it to be for our project, but make sure you do title your documents. Next we have just a little bit of styling that we need for this tutorial um, in Twitter Bootstrap. And we have the link to our base CSS as well as our responsive CSS. Also if we head down to the footer, we can see that we have linked up jQuery, our Bootstrap, a minified JavaScript, as well as a little call for our carousel, which we will be covering later. So, what I have done is I have integrated our navigation bar by providing an outside div, and this is all easily findable on the Twitter Bootstrap documentation, and really is easy to just copy and paste and do it for yourself relatively easy. And so we have our navigation bar, our inner container for the navigation, and then we have what is called our brand section or our logo, and that is made up of these. So we have Untamed Bootstrap will be our brand title, and that will integrate into the navigation bar, and I'll show you exactly how it does. Then we have our unordered list, wherein we give links to our home, about, blog, portfolio and contact page. Then we have a UL with a class of pull right and all this does is exactly that. Pulls our navigation to the right and so for any links that may not be related to this list it's a good idea just to have them in a different part of the same navigation bar. For this one we have a link back to the untamed site. So let's take a look at what this is whenever we have it in browser. As you can see here, we have our brand section, our navigation list, and we have given this a class of selected. So this is what an active link will look like on your site. And this is also entirely stylable using CSS, so feel free to go nuts. Um, and of course, our pulled right navigation link. Now, what one of the most important parts of this section and this um, uh, framework in general is its inherent responsiveness. To kind of exercise that, we can take our browser, take the size down, you can see how that switched and scaled appropriately. So this might be a tablet, and then we get into large phones and small tablets, so maybe like a Kindle Fire, and you can see that our navigation bar actually goes into a list that is hidden and accessible by this button. So we press that and there are all of our pages including our right link back to Untame. We can close that again and so that's just using a jQuery toggle. And how, here's a phone layout and you can see how this would be useful using a layout like this for your navigation bar especially on a device like a phone where vertical navigation space um, is at a premium and so you want to be able to hide those elements whenever they are not absolutely necessary. Well, stay tuned for the next part of our um, tutorials wherein we will be adding a carousel, some columns, and a call to action statement to our homepage to make up the whole thing. Thanks for watching.